This year's winter outlook has been released and meteorologist Corey Smith breaks down how our winter could shape up this year and I'll give you a hint it might include some flakes in the air. As we get closer to the end of the fall season, we'll be looking towards our winter here in the Carolinas. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has already put out their winter outlook, which is looking quite different from the La Nina driven winters that we've seen over the past couple of years. The precipitation outlook is calling for a pretty wet winter across the southeast, and a big driving factor behind this is El Nino. We can take a look at the past to see how this influences snowfall in the region. Since 1948, all but one El Nino winter has featured snowfall here in the Midlands. Typically, we average right around 1.5 inches of snow during these seasons, but totals can vary. We've picked up as little as no snow, but as much as 18.2 inches during these El Nino years. El Ninos can look different, and we are likely heading into at least a strong El Nino this year. Narrowing down to other strong and major El Nino years, this is not a clear trend towards more or less snow, but there is still an overall increase in the likelihood of winter weather. One thing that we must take into account is the changing climate conditions over the past few decades. Even with a pattern that lends towards snow in the past, our rising temperatures will change how we forecast winter weather here in the Carolinas. I'm News 19 WLTX meteorologist Corey Smith.